Welcome to Book Time with Ryan. I am Ryan, and today I am doing an unplanned video. This morning, probably around 1 a.m., I found out that one of my favorite authors and a friend, Ted Bell, had passed away. And if you've been on this channel for any amount of time, I think you've heard me mention Ted before. So I'm going to go over some of my memories and why Ted's important to me and really a central part of even the reason that I'm here on booktube and reading is because of Ted. But there's these different stories. Uh, and I'm not really going to edit this down. Um, usually I try to edit it down. I'm having, having some issues with my new phone and doing that with a little bit of a lag um, on iMovie. But I'll just kind of let it play out today. So... Long ago, <laughs> not that long, I guess, probably around 2006, 2007, uh, I was in the Coast Guard. I'd been in the Coast Guard since 2002. And I was about to go underway on my ship. And I was in Rhode Island, near University of Rhode Island, uh, visiting my then girlfriend. And we went to a bookstore. And at the checkout, and I, was, I don't know if I was really even buying anything. Uh, at the checkout, there was a book sitting near, near the register. And it was this book. Pirate by Ted Bell. And I thought, what a cool cover. I'm going to get that thing and see what it's about. Because I'm going out on a ship. And there's a life ring in this kind of deserted sea. What's up? So I bought it and I read it while I was underway. And the interesting thing to me was that this book was taking place in some of the same areas that we were patrolling at the time. We were off of Florida doing alien migrant interdiction operations, AMIO. And um, we were focusing on the Florida Straits and we, we stopped a couple times at this small island at the end of the Keys uh, that was called Dry Tortugas that had a base on it where um, Harvey Mudd was housed, imprisoned for a while. The doctor who worked on um, John Wilkes Booth, the murderer of Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, President Lincoln. The crazy thing was the Coast Guard scenes in this book were taking place in the same areas. It mentioned Dry Tortugas in the Coast Guard scenes. And there aren't a lot of books that have Coast Guard in them. So I was hooked and I loved the book. And I told my parents about it and they were blown away because I've mentioned this before many times. I have dyslexia. I didn't read growing up. I didn't really read in college uh, much certainly not for pleasure and when they heard that I liked this book they wanted to fan that flame so they bought me the other books this pirate is number three in the Alex Hawk series and they bought me the first two Hawk and Assassin and then they bought me the one after pirate called Spy and I loved them so I read these books. I think they came in the mail in Guantanamo Bay when we were in a port call. And I read them. Um, eventually, I read them in order. Remember, I started with the third book. And then I read the first. I think I, I started with the third book, Pirate. And then I think I read Spy. And then I doubled back and went to Hawk and then Assassin. So, I was on my ship. Eventually, it was time to transfer. And I went to the public affairs office at Coast Guard headquarters, and I was part of a program that was from the Department of Defense called the Joint Civilian Orientation Conference, JCOC, and I coordinated the Coast Guard's part of that. We would go out for about 10 days to a different combat command, and each service would have a day or so to present to 30, I think it was 30, maybe 60, either 60 for the year or 30, maybe 
30 per conference. There were two conferences a year or 60 per conference. Maybe been 60. It's been a while now. So we had the ability to nominate on behalf of the Commandant of the Coast Guard, and then it would be voted on by kind of a panel at the Department of Defense. And from reading Ted Bell, I realized that there's a lot of military in Ted Bell's books, and he was a supporter of the military. And he was getting out there some great information about the military. And having him on this trip would help him with what he does. And it would help the military by, you know, getting out kind of the concerns, the stories, the intricacies of each branch. So it was a good match. I reached out to Ted Bell. <clears throat> and he was interested. So we put his name in. And he was selected, which was awesome. I can't remember if before this or after this. I started on Facebook a Facebook group called Ted Bell Fans. And it got pretty big. I mean, this was like not that it was fairly early in Facebook's history, I guess. And for a group, it had for a group that I didn't really push at all, organically it grew to I think maybe 6 or 8,000, which is pretty good. And then there was also a page that was developed that eventually had you know, 30, 20, 30,000 maybe. Um, I don't even know what we call people who follow pages. Subscribers? Likes? I don't know. So I also had that kind of support going on. And Ted went on this trip. I was so excited. I had read the books I was, I think I, I'm still reading the books. I'm a slow, slow reader. Um, but I was a little confused on what was happening because I read them out of order. So I didn't know if a character came back or if I was just thinking, or if I was just at a point where I was reading about an early character who was, was dead <laughs> later. Um, it just, when you read them out of order, you're not sure what, what you're seeing. Um, for a lot of characters, not for all of them. And, and you don't have to read them in order. It helps. There is some reference. There is some, every so often there's a reference to an earlier event, but you can read them independently too. So I asked Ted, we were, the, the conference was being hosted by the um, Southcom, U.S. Southern Command. And we were in Panama City, Panama at the hotel bar and I was asking Ted a couple questions about characters. And Ted told me that, you know what? I should make you a character in a book. And I was so excited. And I was like, absolutely. You can kill me. You can do whatever you need to to my character. It would just be an honor to be a character in my favorite author's book. Um, he had just finished Czar, I think. Yeah, he had just finished Czar. So... Uh, he wasn't at a point where he was going to immediately add it. Uh, probably about a year or two in between books, but um, eventually he did. And that was such a cool thing for me. So this was my first book that I got. And I asked him to sign it. I brought it on the conference. And Ted did. He wrote to a tr a tr you know, for Ryan, a true action hero, Ted Bell. And I'm sorry, a couple of them. He brought a couple books for me, too. Ted's done the Al Talk series. He also has the Nick MacGyver series, uh, which is like the uh, Time Pirate and Nick of Time. Which are, are, uh, I don't know if they're considered young adult or if they're younger than that. I don't know. But they're good for kids. So, eventually, the next book comes out. And it is Phantom. Phantom, I think it was, maybe it wasn't Phantom. Now, Warlord was done and hadn't come out yet. Czar had already come out, so he was already working on Warlord. After Warlord, Phantom came out. And that was the book that I was a character in. 
it was kind of cool because they actually changed the covers. I don't remember if it was a new publisher, but um, it was a pretty pretty good looking cover. So I was a character. I bought every version of it and listened to I I didn't listen to it, but I bought the audio. I um I read it, and eventually Ted told me that he should that he was going to send me uh, the proof of Phantom. It had already come out. I'd already read it. So he did. He sent me the proof. I don't have many proofs. I have three at the point. At that point, I think I had one or none um, of anything. But Ted sent me the proof, and this is it. This is the book. And it's just, I was so excited to get the proof of the book that I'm a character in. My first ever character book. And I've shown this before, but on January 1st, 2013, Ted wrote to me, For my good friend Ryan White, USCG retired, with thanks for your friendship and all the good things you've done for both me and Alice Hawk. With respect, Ted Bell. And that was really special to me. That's a really special book for me. The next book that came out after that was... Warriors, and in Warriors, my ship appears, uh, Coast Guard Cutter Vigorous. I wasn't in this one, but my ship was, which is very cool. And then the book after that, Patriot, came out, and again, I was a character in Patriot. Now, when I say I'm a character, this is not like a, I see myself in this character kind of thing, right? My characters are much cooler in the book than I am in person. These are characters with my name. And there's no guessing which one's me. It's Ryan White. So I was a character. Another person that I worked with on these conferences was a character. Um, and that was... I, I kept following, you know, each, each book that came out I read and I talked about. Eventually I started my booktube channel and the final one came out a little over a year ago, I think. About a year ago. Um, and I did a review for that. And I've stayed in touch with Ted. Every so often we've exchanged emails, messages. And it's been really nice to have that connection because Ted didn't need to do that. I mean, I, I hung out with him for a week. And from that week, we've stayed in touch. Um, I saw him in 2018. He was in the D.C. area. I think he I think it was in Baltimore. There was a book fair in Baltimore. And I was going to go to it. We had just had Noelia, our daughter. Um, and... I think this was really the first time I had left the house in, in any kind of somewhat distancey drive. So um, I checked in, I think, frequently with my wife to see how everything was going. But I spent the day at this fair in Baltimore, and one of the speakers was Ted. So I showed up. I don't even think I told him I was coming. I just, I was in the audience. And he looked over and he was like, oh, Lieutenant Ryan White from the Coast Guard. And I was just, it had been years since we had seen each other. But to get called out like that was very cool. And, you know, other people sitting there looked over and I felt not like a celebrity. But it was it was neat for him to recognize me. So we took a picture together uh, at the at the, con at the fair. I brought some books to have signed. He had already signed a lot of my books. Uh, I've shown you two here that he signed. A bunch of the other ones that are all up here are signed. Not all of them, but I brought a bunch of them. He signed them all, and then we took a picture, which is here. And um, we stayed in touch, and I would email him every so often, give him little updates tell him what I was doing, if I saw anything happening, 
on their social media accounts. I let them know. And that was, that was where we left it. So I think the last email I got from him was just thanking me for giving me a heads up on something and he had some nice things to say. And, and then this morning at 1am, I was about to go to sleep. I should have gone to sleep earlier. And I saw somebody say, uh, Ryan Steck, who's on his group and just wrote a book. He's a big fan of Ted's too. Um, he mentioned that he saw on Ted's daughter's Instagram page, uh, her name's Birdie Bell, that Ted had passed away. And it really affected me. Look, Ted is the reason that I've been reading books. I didn't read as a kid. I couldn't. I didn't read as an adult. I didn't want to. And then Pirate came along and changed all of that. Without a doubt. I wasn't reading anything. I had a couple books. I wasn't reading them. They were just up for display. So Ted's the reason that I started reading. And then to have that relationship with an author that really kind of turned your life around in the reading department and engaged you and even made you a character in that universe with one of your favorite characters, Lord Alex Hawk, was really special for me. So it won when I read that he had passed away. I, it just hit me hard and... I couldn't go to sleep for hours, which is a little rough because I wake up at 6.30, 7 ish. Um, and some teleworking, so I can just get a shower and go to work quickly in my house. Uh, there was a point around 2.30, 3 ish that I thought maybe I should just come down and film. I didn't, but I was still up thinking and. It's a loss for a lot of reasons, but he was such a critical part of my reading life, which has been more and more important to me as I've expanded what I've read. And he, he started that. And I got to share stuff with him as a person that you don't usually get to do with your author. And for them to include you in their work is great. I had a co-worker, a, fire, a, a former shipmate from the Coast Guard, sent feedback for scenes that Ted had sent me so they were more accurate, especially about radio talk and operations in the Coast Guard. <clears throat> uh, my dad looked at it and helped. Um with some feedback for, I think, medical stuff. I think he gave feedback for medical stuff. Oh, uh, just... Or he offered to. Maybe that's what it was. I don't remember. But he sent my dad a book that was signed to. It just... It was a really special place. And I've dealt with a few authors that I like dying. Uh, John Le Carre is another one. John Le Carre is an author that I read because I had started reading Ted Bell. And then he passed away uh, a couple years ago, year and a half ago, year and a half ago. Uh, but the Ted Bell news hit me harder because I knew Ted. He's in my, he's in my email, he's in my phone. And the thing is, like, we've been able to share Ted with his family. His family's been able to share him with us and I think if, if you've read Ted Bell um, you've experienced some of what Ted was about a part of his life that he really valued and took seriously and the only thing that I remember him talking about more was his daughter Bertie but his characters and his stories were huge to him and if you've read his books can see that 
So I wanted to create a video today that just remembered Ted and this was not initially planned. I spent some of the morning hours, early, very early morning hours, creating a, a thumbnail for this video and thinking about what I was gonna say, but I didn't wanna to have to do this. And I think this is the first time I've really done this on my channel, but I felt that Ted Bell's had a significant part in my reading and this channel existed. And I did let him know that it existed. I sent him my review of his book, which I'll include a link to. His last book. I, I had read everything else before I started this channel. So thanks for being here today. If you haven't read Ted Bell, please check him out. And to Ted's family, I'm sorry for your loss. And to all of Ted's fans, um, we'll always have a piece of them, but it is, it's hard to lose an author that you really like. And it's hard to lose a friend that, that you enjoyed. So thanks.